Hi everyone, nice new addition in SharePoint that allows you to assign a color to a folder. You can create now folder structure with colors in Teams and SharePoint. In the demo, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage by Power Automate to recreate a folder structures with colors. But before to jump in, let me thank you to Hornet Security for sponsoring this video. SAS is the most comprehensive awareness offering for M365, specifically designed to help CISOs and M365 admins delivering a continuous awareness training, including spear phishing simulations, for employees in a complete automated SL-free way. In contrast with other M365 solutions, security and compliance managers have to take care of everything themselves. The e-training, the creation of phishing simulations, the delivery of the appropriate e-learnings, etc. With Arnett Security's SaaS, they don't have to worry about any of that, and the awareness training, including spear phishing simulation, is available in over 15 languages. All right, let's get started. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. I'm impersonating an end user, Adele Vance in this case, I am in the Files tab of my team training in the general channel and as you can see I have the new capability here available. I have several folders with several colors. I created contracts with the green folder, declarations, news, projects and taxes. The user experience, it looks like very, very easy and simple and intuitive. If I click on the new button and then on folder, I have now a new set of colors just under the name of the folder. I have folder color, so I can type, let me be original test, and now I can pick up and select a color, let's say this purple. Then let's click the button create, and here we go. I have now this new folder with the new color. But what if I tell you that you can color your folders using the SharePoint REST API? So this is a new nice addition because means that you can automate the creation of folders and later you can apply a color using a Power Automate flow just to mention a use case. Or you can use any other kind of background mechanism, you can even use an Azure function if you want, just to mention another use case. But in this specific scenario, I would like to focus on Power Automate flow and I'm going to create a new flow to recreate this folder structure with colors in another team. Now, before to jump in Power Automate, let me open here uh, just one page in my PowerPoint that I created just to walk you through the new API capability in SharePoint. So we have now three new endpoints that allow us to apply the color to a folder in SharePoint and Teams. So I have the, in the first one, I have this new method stamp color which allow me to apply a color to an existing folder. And this is the structure. Here I have to provide the site, the site name, I have to provide the document library name, and finally the folder. In the second method, we have the chance to create a folder and then apply the color. I'll show you later how you can do this. You have to apply in the body of your request the color that you want to set for your folder. And then there is this parameter override if you want to override the existing folder. Now, in the last one, we have typically this other scenario, rename folder. You can just rename the folder and then apply a color. Now, we can start to create a Power Automate flow and we can see now how to recreate the folder structure that we have seen before, like this one and how to set every specific color for every folder using and consuming the SharePoint REST API. If you are wondering how to check all available methods in the SharePoint REST API, I recommend you this website. 
Thanks to a collaboration of a user, we have now this explorer. I will put this URL in the description of my video. Now here, let's say that I want to explore the new endpoints provided in order to color my folder. In the search text field, I can type, for example, folder, and I have here folder coloring. Now, if I expand this item, I can see the new three methods provided by Microsoft in order to color my folders in SharePoint and Teams. As we have seen before, I have the create folder, method, rename folder, and stamp color. Now, if I click on this one, I can see the parameters needed in order to consume this endpoint. All right, let's jump now on Power Automate. I'm going to create now a Power Automate flow in order to recreate the structure that we have seen before of colored folders. I have here a tab already open for uh, my Power Automate flow. Now I'm going to click on New Flow and I'm going to start an Instant Cloud Flow because I'm going to trigger this one manually. And let's call it this folder structure. Colorful folder structure. Manually trigger a flow. Let's click on create and now I can start. Let's add the first step. In this case, I need to consume the SharePoint REST API. So I'm going to select the connector SharePoint. Then I can filter for send and automatically I should see now a send an HTTP request to SharePoint. Let me target now the URL that I want to use. In that case, it's the sales team. This is a post HTTP request. And now I have to paste the URL in order to consume the API. I already copied this before. Now I have to fix something in the decode URL. I have to address the right SharePoint site. In this case, it's sites and sales. The document library is the official one, shared documents. The channel is general and in this case I'm going to create a folder called news. And I'm going to add the flag overwrite to because I want to overwrite if in the case the folder already exists. Now let's add some headers here. Content type. Then I'm going to add the application JSON and accept as a response. I want to retrieve a JSON file. And finally, in the body, what I have to provide is the color that I want to use. This is the body. I have this JSON color, coloring information, color hex, and we have as number we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me show you again in a bit. Clicking on a new button, I can click on new folder and this is the color. So I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. All right, let's start very easy. I'm going to use the 0 and the first one is ready to go. Now I'm going to copy this step because I have to recreate additional folders I'm going to consume and I'm going to make a new post for every new folder that I have to create and now I'm going to speed up the time in order to avoid to bore you. All right, I added every step for every folder. I have in the second one, I added the projects. Then in the last one, taxes. I have declarations and contracts and so on. So I can run now my Power Automate flow, let me save it, this flow. And now just for testing, I can click on the button test, manually test. And now I can click on the button continue and finally on a run flow. This flow is completed. I can now jump in the Microsoft Teams tab and let me click on another team and let me reopen this one sales i'm going to open the files tab and here we go i have now created 
this structure. I have contracts, declarations, news, projects and taxes with different colors. This is how you can achieve this goal. It's pretty easy and straightforward using the SharePoint REST API. It's time to talk a little bit more about security awareness service provided by Ornet Security. Here I am on the website. Here you can easily request a demo and I recommend you to do it because it's for free and you can get more insights about this service and how it works. Down below on this web page, you can find the three main pillars of this tool. The first one is the ability to benchmark and test your employee security index. The second one is the ability to schedule an e-training for your employees so you can prepare them properly in case of phishing attack. And then the last one is the ability to get insights about a phishing simulation in your organization. Again, down below, you can have even a look to the dashboard of this tool. There is this nice slide that provides you more detail about the dashboard and the UI and how you can read this information. All right, down below, the last thing that I would like to highlight is to a couple of links, very important. It is the fact sheet and the easy web paper. Here you can find the report and information about the security index for your employee. So you can read properly your data in your organization. 